Good morning, everybody. It's December 24th. Um, I got out a couple of videos this morning. And uh, I'm going to put out another one here. I'm, uh, I'm really focused on this deception that's at hand right now. And I think it's vitally important that you guys don't be deceived. Because the Lord's coming is so close. And he was very clear about the times, the signs of the times, the perilous times. Men will be lovers of themselves. Um, affliction. You know, I mean, look at everything the way it is, man. The cost of living going up. Um, sin is sin to God. It's full of it here, okay? The uh, perverted lifestyle, that was the frosting on the cake. In other words, the party's over, man. The party's over. Stop and think about it, man. When they came out, that was the days of Noah, Sodom and Gomorrah. That was the sign of the times, okay? And another thing that st comes to my mind is when these people are saying, oh, there are brothers and sisters and we should love them. Okay, well, let's go to uh, St. Matthew's chapter 12, verse 49 and 50, okay? Well, actually, we can go up to him and say, Jesus' true family, I'll read it all, 46 through 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brother stood outside, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand outside, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? Then he stretched his hand out, and he pointed to his disciples. All of his disciples that were following him, okay? Not everybody that was sitting in there that he was talking to. He pointed to the ones that were following him. For whosoever shall do the will of my father. And he stretched out the fourth of his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother okay and then these people are telling you that you should love them because those are your brothers and your sisters that's kind of like the opposite of Christ okay and I think that's the reason why in my video changed at the same time when the sunset changed everything's been changing just like I moved from the left side of my vehicle to the right side of my vehicle on my videos now now my left looks like my right and my right looks like my left. Okay? And that's not right. Look at my videos three, four days ago. I used to be on the left side like this, like I am all the time. Now it looks like my left is on my right. You see? This is the time to be right in the eyes of the Lord. See, the devil's a deceiver and a liar. Okay? Sin is sin. Okay? Uh, the people that refused to bake cakes for those people, okay, because they said they weren't going to do that as a perverted lifestyle. Well, let me tell you something. People that get married and remarried and remarried, you see that in Hollywood, man. They're all doing it. And they're talking about all the money that they get in their divorce settlements and all that. This is all wickedness and it's all evil, okay? These demonic beings, okay, these demonic spirits, this is a battle between uh, evil going on here. It's been going on from the beginning of time. The Word of God says so. That they've always been here from the beginning of time. This photo it was given to me to show you guys. That angel blowing the trumpet. That bathtub. The white horse. You have to be washed by the blood of Christ. Okay? You have to be following Christ. If you're following what's in this world and you're calling your brothers and sisters those that are committing sin... That's right. Those that are committing sin, perverted lifestyle, those that are uh, cheating on their spouses, all of that. You know, everybody's got different callings to their channels, how they do it and what they say. I don't tickle the ears here. I've seen like the two preachers. They're like, mm-hmm, you know, 
We're glad we don't get attacked here a lot because, yeah, well, we don't like to uh, offend anybody, you know. But look, look at what's happening. Everything's being destroyed, you know. See, they're not being bold as they ought to be, okay. They should be more bold because, see, people have little time. See, I what I would like to see, I would like to see all these people turn to the Lord, to repent, to follow Christ, Okay, some people say, man, you know what? Everything he does, he's ruining our holiday. We ain't going to have a good Christmas because he, he ain't got, got nothing good to say. You know, oh, I do got something good to say. Our Lord's coming. He's going to be here any moment now. And you know what? If you're holding hands with what's in this world, you're going to be left behind. And the only thing you're going to be holding on to is regret. Okay, if I'm making it sound a little spooky and scary, I hope so. Because you know what? We should have a, a strong fear of the Lord. We should have. But today, people don't. No, they're telling you, you should love it. That he blessed us with all this. I'll tell you, I mean, man, this place is so full of lies. It's, it's, it's one big deceiving thing. I don't even listen to what politics say anymore because they're all lying. This has all been set up. All of it. It's all been set up. And people have been following the wolves from the beginning. That's why they've got such a stronghold on everything right now. As far as people attacking me, I don't care. Let them come. You know, the word of God says that they would. You know, as far as uh, these people coming against me saying, I said, he said, she said, about Amanda saved by grace and all that stuff. You know what? I told her what I told her. Do I regret saying it? Of course not. I told you I'm not an ear tickler. And she calls them her brothers and sisters. I don't. She does. She said it on video when she said her thing about me. She goes, those are our brothers and sisters. They're not my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters do the will of my Father in heaven. Okay? We repented. And we follow Christ. Okay? Just like Jesus said here. He pointed to his disciples. Not to everybody sitting out there. To his disciples. And what did his disciples do? They followed him, didn't they? You see what I'm saying? These, this is a strong message. And for some reason, it's gotten all perverted and twisted. But you know what? You go to the churches today, and they're preaching in the pulpits. You got women preaching in the pulpits. The Word of God doesn't, doesn't call for none of this stuff. This is all wrong. Okay? You're supposed to be bold. You're supposed to be teaching people the fear of God. They should have the fear of God. You're supposed to be telling people um, everything it says in here. And James here. Um, James 4.4. 4. You're going to hear me reading a lot of this stuff here because this is the things we need to have. We need to be looking for his coming and we need to be real, real uh, humble and bow down when we see him, man. And he knows the minds and the hearts. You're not going to deceive him. You're not going to deceive him. And you know what? I'm not going to regret saying what I'm saying because you know what? I want those people to turn. I want them to have a fear of the Lord. I want them to stop doing what they're doing. That means adulterers. If you're sleeping with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, if you ain't married to them, you got to stop it. You got to repent from it. Stop it. If you're not married to them, and then, you know, is that going to be your top priorities? Uh, you know, the coming of our Lord. He's coming. Okay? And it's not going to be about sex anymore. In the kingdom of heaven, that's not going to happen. When he comes back for the thousand years and people are living uh, a new life here and they're going to replenish the earth again, um, they're going to be married. But they're not going to be multiply married. And they're not going to have uh, children from different husbands. It's not going to be happening. It's not going to happen. This is the time to get right. You got to repent of all, all your sins and then follow Christ. Yeah, it's that simple. See, I say it so boldly because, see, I don't want to see nobody get left behind. But there are. I already know. We're only going to have five whys. I already know that. But I'm trying real hard to make sure. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. The Lord knows everything that I'm going to do. He knew it from the beginning of the foundations of the earth. And he knew how I would say it and everything that I was going to say. He knows everything. I mean, my gosh. I look at it. I was a young kid there when they put that there. I was 17 years old in 77. That angel above my head blowing that trumpet. See, a lot of demonic people don't like to see that. Nobody wants to see your picture. Nobody wants to hear you. 
Nobody wants to, you know, they want to live the lie. That's what they want. They want to live the lie. See, and I'm here to make sure you guys know the truth. See, because when you stand before the Son of Man, anybody that's been on this channel, they heard the truth. You should be seeking Him. Not what's in this world. Listen to this. James 4.4. 4. I'm going to go all the way till 10. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an amenity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. He's getting ready to come, okay? This is where you need to get right, okay? Or be left behind, okay? That's what somebody said when they seen me, my, me sitting on the opposite side of my truck. Oh, Mark's on the right side now. And you either get on the right side or you'll be left behind, okay? We got to repent and follow Christ. I gave my heart to Christ. Okay, after my divorce, man, I ain't been looking at women having no desires to be with a woman. Nothing, man. Nothing. And I heard people making sick comments like something perverted happened to me while I was incarcerated. Nothing like that happened to me. I had a lot of fights, man. I stood up and I fought. I fought then and I'm fighting now. But I'm also trying to fight for a lot of people out there right now, man, trying to make sure that they're not deceived. When you hear the scoffing and mocking coming against me, it's not the person. It's what's in that person. You know, when you see the video that comes up wanting to load up after this video, I got that set up there so you can see these spirits, the angels, the orbs that are moving around us. Man, we've got angels around us, protecting us, guarding us. But if you have love of the world and you love this perverted lifestyle, um, you, the Holy Spirit's not going to dwell with you. And remember, we, our bodies are the temple of God, okay? This is where the our bodies are. They're the temple of God. This is where we're supposed to be clean, okay? We can't be perverted. We can't be polluting it, okay? Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace where... For he says, God resisteth the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw close to God, and uh, he will draw close to you. Okay? That's where the Holy Spirit will dwell in us. Okay? Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Ye double-minded, be afflicted and mourn. And weep and let your laughter be turned mourning. Remember I told you I seen where people were laughing and laughing and laughing. Their skulls shrank inside their head and then came out of their mouths. In other words, like they're damned. You know, I asked myself, what would John the Baptist do right now? What would he do? Would he be standing up telling you, man, repent? Or would he be trying to tickle you going, mm, I don't know, man, what else should we say? You know, everything's being destroyed little by little. You know, First John, love not the world, neither the things. Okay, this is uh, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abideth forever. You know? Little children, it is the last time that ye shall have heard that Antichrist shall come. And even now, there are many antichrists, whereby we know that the time, that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. If they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth. 
These things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. See, that's what they're doing right now, man. Very few people are going to make it. Very few. You know? Listen, the Lord showed me things, man. I literally, I seen things, man, that a lot of people just wouldn't believe. Okay? I've seen these demonic spirits jumping at people. I've seen them touching food in the grocery store, in the coolers. Um, the Lord let me see these things to share with you guys. But not very many people are going to make it, man. Five whys. And I think we're getting ready to go anytime, man. Anytime. I feel like it's right at hand. I mean, like, the engines, man, That it's like they're getting ready to rip. It's getting ready to rip. Big time. 1 Corinthians. This is where it speaks about all flesh is not the same flesh. For the corruptible must put on incorruptible. See, that's why I told you I seen uh, new bodies. We were taking off our old bodies, and we were putting on new. And it literally had our had us covered up from head to toe, man. It was like our spirits were going into a new uh, body. First um, Corinthians fifteen uh, fifty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Just like you see things changing right now. In a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption... And this mortal shall have put on immorality. Then shall be brought to pass in the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? They're trying very, very hard right now to get you to be deceived. That's what they're doing. Alright, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Um... 9 through 11 and 19 through 20. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers or adulterers. You don't want to be calling these people your brothers and sisters. That's why I said, if they're sitting and living this kind of life, they're not my brothers and sisters. If I'll tell them to repent. See, I don't candy coat nothing. Yeah, I don't sit there and say, oh, I'll love them in there. No, you, how are you going to love them in? Oh, they're our brothers and sisters. They're not, no. Jesus said those that are following him are his brothers and sisters, not those that are living in fornication. If you call them your brothers and sisters, that must mean the devil is your father. Stop and think about it. Nor infeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, or, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. 19 and 20. What? Ye know not that your bodies are the Holy Ghost, which are in you, which ye have of God. And ye are not of your own, for you are bought for it with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Okay? Listen. I'm pretty forward about this, okay? Don't think that I hate these perverted uh, people with their perverted lifestyle any more than I hate adulterers and adulteresses. To me... Yeah, I don't call them that name that they like to be called because that was just something they put frosting on themselves when they came out of the closet, okay? Evil is evil. Let me tell you something. When my wife decided to cheat with that police officer, they were in the closet. They were hiding. They were sneaking around, 
Now, why do people sneak around and hide and do that stuff? Because it's wrong, okay? It's wrong. Just because the law here says it's okay, you can divorce this person, doesn't make it right with God, okay? It doesn't make it right with God. Now, everything that I'm telling you guys, man, I'm telling it to you because I don't want anybody to... Now, listen, if you were married before and you got a divorce, stop. Repent. Follow Jesus Christ. Don't seek any more relationships. It's that simple. Okay? It doesn't have to be difficult. It really doesn't. That angel, time's up. It's up. The bathtub, it's up. This was taken in 77 when I was 17. I'm trying to show you guys where all these sevens line up, okay? They line up in the Bible even. Joseph, he spent seven years in prison. Then he predicted seven years of uh, plenty and seven years of famine. Seven, seven, seven. Remember, the Pharaoh came and got him out of the dungeon. How long was he in the dungeons down there? Seven years, okay? Um, check out the uh, history of... Uh, um, the housing market when it crashed back in 2008. 777 points. That Malaysia jet, about the same time that crashed in the Indian Ocean out there. They never found it, but they found a wing of it. The number on that plane was 777. You know, and then I told you right there where I lived, a, a small plane landed in the highway. And it landed on the 26th. And then the number of that plane was 26777. And this is when I got my photo with the angel blowing the trumpet. Okay? All this. You guys heard my testimony. I shared my testimony. Why I took this photo. It was on a Sunday morning. Day before I was supposed to go to basic training. And uh, I was told I couldn't get in. They wouldn't accept me because I was going to court. You know? Yeah, I tried to sneak into the military. You know? I figured, you know, it was a good good way to get out and get changed my life. But it didn't work. They had other plans. But everything happens according to the way it's supposed to happen. The thing is, what I'm trying to get across here right now, I don't want to see anybody have to go through what they're going to go through. But they're going to go through it. All those people saying Amanda saved by grace that I was doing all this stuff against her. You know what? All I did is I made a comment. And it's on my previous video. I'll load it up in the description box again. If you look through there, you'll see my comment where I said, because she asked, what is this? And I said what it was. And I also said, you can't accept when you sit there and call these people your brothers and sisters, then you're, the Holy Spirit's not going to dwell with somebody that loves what's evil. Okay, because it says in the end days, people will love what's evil. Call evil good and good evil. Okay, so you leave yourself open to be possessed by a demonic spirit. That's exactly what I said. Okay, now I wasn't into making these comments, going, going back and forth about this. But she opened up that door. But main thing I want you to be focused on, it's all about Jesus Christ coming. Okay, and if you accept what's an abomination to God then you're not going to like his coming. You're going to be ashamed. You're going to wish that you hadn't. Okay? You're going to wish you would have spoken up and said something about it instead of saying, well, God loves him. Why is he going to destroy him? Have you asked yourself that? And when Jesus pointed to his disciples and he said, those are my brothers and my sisters, the ones that do the will of my Father in heaven, he didn't point to everybody in the audience. How many people escaped in the days of Noah? Not very many. How many people escaped out of Sodom and Gomorrah? How many do you think are going to escape from here? When I said I seen a river of people in a river chest deep in water, they were all throwing rocks at me. A few of us got over to the left, okay? And we, we were getting ready to leave. All those people were being carried into a mountain. Hell. And if you guys would have seen what I've seen, I've seen a lot. A lot. 
And you know what? It's written in these end days. This is what's going to happen. Most people I'm looking at, you know, because they don't care. And they've all had a good life. They've lived a good life. Remember, a friend in this world is an enemy of God. This life is going to be a testament. This is where you're either going to make your stand, make your choices, you know. I just want it to be known that I said something about it, that I didn't candy coat nothing. I don't want to see anybody, uh, I don't want to see anybody, uh, get left behind. When you guys seen those orbs and everything moving around me, the spirits, that was for you. That was for you to see. To know that we have angels around us. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, then something else can be in you. Look at that video. Since Amanda brought this subject up, I'm going to load that video up that she's talking about. It's going to be in there in, in her video and it's going to say, What is this? She asked. Then I told her and she didn't like it. So now she decided to make a video about me to cause distraction. Okay? But what I want you to know, it's not about me. It's not about her. It's about Jesus Christ. It's about what he did on that cross for our salvation. Those that believe in him. And know, I want you to know the truth. Who your real brothers and sisters are, are the ones that are doing the will of Christ. Not this perverted lifestyle. Not these adulterers. Okay, not these people that are cheating, lying, stealing, scamming, uh, loving what's evil. Okay, you can't love what's evil. Then if you call them your brothers and sisters, there's a reason why they're telling you to call them their brothers and sisters. Because it's the opposite of what Jesus called his brothers and sisters. His brothers and sisters were following Christ. Okay, he pointed to his disciples. Now, do you think his disciples were living that kind of lifestyle? Of course they weren't. God bless each and every one of you. And keep focused on Jesus Christ, okay? I'm going to load up in the description box what she uh, was talking about. You'll see something moving through her face. And I said it's a demonic spirit. You know, they host you. I know what they do. And uh, she didn't like what I had to say. But you shouldn't ask people if you don't want to know. You know, and when she said to me about how you got to love them, they're your brothers and sisters. I said, no, they're not. They're not my brothers and sisters. Now, if they repent from it and they're following Christ, those are my brothers and sisters. Okay, that's the same thing with an adulterer. You know, ever since my divorce, man, I've been following Jesus Christ. I'm not following uh, anything in this world. Nothing. I've been living in my truck the last 14 months, two years in my shop. You know, I let go of what's in this world. Why? So I could do just what I'm doing right here. You know, this is what the Lord wanted me to do. This is what he want, called me to do. All those mockers and scoffers, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do too. But the thing is, you're supposed to know the truth. Remember this, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we're going to be redeemed back to the Father in heaven. When I said the bright image that came for me in my dream when I was young. I couldn't see his head, hands, or his feet. That's true. I couldn't. I seen his white robe, though. It was whiter than white. Okay? When I seen in my dream the Father in heaven, I didn't say Jesus Christ. I said the Father in heaven had blood on his lips. Then when he kissed me on my forehead, okay, I said that was the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that came for me in the room. The Father in Heaven is the one that picked me up and kissed me on my forehead. See, there's a difference. A big difference. You see, and these demons, these demonic people, they're going to try to cause and division and trouble. Forget that. Okay? Just forget it. But I'm going to load that clip up that she was talking about when she asked, What is this? And then you're going to see something moving through her face. And it looked like her face stretched even. Um, these are the demonic spirits that are hosting people. They can jump in you and control you. If you love what's an abomination to the Father in Heaven, and you're going to hear her say that she did. She, those are her brothers and sisters. The ones that are committed sodomy. Sodomites. 
They're not my brothers and sisters, man. You got to repent from that stuff. Same like any other sin to you. God bless you. And remember, don't love what's in this world. He's coming for us right now. Okay? And he might come when you least expect it. Okay? A lot of these holidays that have been set up, they're all the devil. God bless you.